This is the first video in the Blue Bean video series for still erectors uh, using Blue Bean to label drawings. Pretty simple process. We bring our drawings in to Blue Bean. And the challenge is when we bring drawings in, we get PDFs from whoever we get them from. Sometimes them drawings come in and we'll see over here on the thumbnails, they're labeled one, two, three, four, five, six, which doesn't give us a whole lot of information, doesn't help us much. Of course, sheet number is A000, but when we're trying to scroll through there to find the structural sets, you know, we got to kind of pick and guess to where it's at because it's numbered by number, not by sheet name. Very, very simple on how to get it to, to relabel drawings in Bluebeam. First thing I do is I would scroll in my drawing to where I can see the title block on the bottom right corner. And then all I'm going to do at that point is come to right here at the very top. Show page labels is, if I click that, it's going to show me my page labels. To create new page labels, I put my cursor over that icon, select it or click on it. And then I would come here, this little mi this menu pops up and I want to click on page region and then I want to select. Once I select, I'm going to come over here to the title block. I left click and I want to rope around a pretty good size area, but don't go out of the title block, but we want to get it uh, an area around the, the text there. So in case the number gets bigger than 000, it will come in uh, correctly. So once I rope around it, it'll pop up and it gives me a preview. Now, if I just wanted to have the page label, the sheet number itself, I would stop there. Or if I wanted to have the title of the sheet, the name of the sheet, I could come up here and select region and under select. I do a uh, put my cursor in there, click one time to give a space, put a hyphen, then another space, and then I will hit add. What I can do now is come to cover sheet. And I'll rope around that and again, leaving enough room in case there's more letters in there. And then I'll get a preview again. Once I agree with the preview, think that looks good, I hit OK. And I always want to make sure it says all pages 1 through 44. So all the plans are being selected. And then we just say OK. And it's going to run through and it's going to create the page labels for this project. And we'll no longer see the one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on. So it's running through, it's making the page labels. Of course, depending on how large the project is, on how long this is going to take. But it's relatively pretty quick. This, myself, is the main reason I use Bluebeam, is to use it to create page labels. So once it's done running it, now we're going to come over here to the left here at our thumbnail section. We're going to see it's a sheet number as well as the title. Now, granted, you do need to scroll through and verify that they all got picked up correctly. And if it doesn't, you can uh, adjust it by simply clicking on the label itself. And now I could edit it if that wasn't done right. But for the most part, Bluebeam does a pretty good job of going through and labeling correctly. But you do want to verify it because later on when I'm showing you how to hyperlink details, it's very important to uh, have the labels correct. And just a tip, let me come back. And if I'm doing this to hyperlink drawings, which I'm going to show you in another video, I would not want to put the title in. All I would want to get is the page region. And I'm just going to run this again real quick so we can see what that looks like. I think I said I want to get the page region. I want to get the sheet number. Look at the preview, say OK. Get all pages, say OK. And now what it's going to do is just going to rerun the page label tool and it's just going to give me the sheet numbers. And you'll, that'll make more sense in a future video where I'm showing you how to hyperlink uh, the drawings for the details within the plan. But now we're done. Now we just have the page numbers themselves 
without the seat title on each one. Scroll through it and make sure it looks good. And there it is. Perfect. And that's how you create page labels. That simple. Uh, we'll see you in the next video.